really the US Festival was like the Woodstock of the 80s. It really was. Yeah, it was, it, it, it was I mean, I don't think people even realized there was like even way over 100,000 people each day. You know? Concert, I believe that you went to was the US Festival, is that the correct? US Festival. And that was, um, at the time, that was a big Apple production, remember? It was, uh, Steve Wozniak yeah. was on, yeah, and he was doing that, uh, like, basically, you know, things were good for Apple, mm -hmm. and he wanted to throw a party uh, right. to, to celebrate. And that was pretty early on in the Apple days, too. Yeah, it was early on, and they were already doing well. Right. Yeah. And I was a teenager at that time. Yeah. But I, and, and I was there. I was there too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. That's so yeah. Funny. So I was at the first and okay. the second S Festival. Nice. And, um, That's awesome. I didn't even know that. But I was a teenager, okay. so I was, I think, maybe 16 or 17 okay. at that time. No, yes. that was about 17. Yeah. And um, but you were ten. Yeah. What was it like going to that crazy festival? It was when really, you were really crazy. You know, my brother took me, obviously, and I mean, I was pretty strong. I mean, even for ten years old. I mean, even now, like looking back, I mean, I can't, I can't even imagine how I did it. But it was one of those things. I was already so plugged in with music. I already loved music so much. It was in my blood. Growing up, my mom would put on eight tracks of um, Neil Diamond and Elvis, and we drive around, you know, in her in, in car listening mm -hmm. to that. So that was my early days of music, but I was already into music. It wasn't like, you know, this was foreign to me, what is this, you know. I already had some musical roots, I should say. And so by the time I got to the S Festival, I was like, man, this is the coolest thing. We walked in, it was like 7 in the morning, Little Steven's playing, and it was like, you know, it just, I mean, that was seven in the morning, and here it was, you know, uh, you know, almost 24 hours later, uh, three in the morning. David Bowie's walking on stage, oh, and I'm still God. going, you know. Yeah. Here I'm but David Bowie, I mean, here, it, and I already knew at the time, like what I was witnessing. This guy is just like a legend, you know. And right. when David Bowie walks on stage, you just take notice, you know. It's like you're like, oh, this is David Bowie, you know. So, Absolutely. Um, and and I'm a huge fan. Well, I'm so happy that I was at that event because I got to see more legends yeah. at that event yeah. than I've seen for you know my the rest of my concert career. For I sure. haven't been <laughs> nearly as active as you have, yeah. um, but I saw some amazing people there. I mean, that lineup was absolutely incredible. <laughs> well, now, let's talk a little bit about the US Festival lineup because okay. that was pretty amazing. Um, I can think of a few off my, the top of my head yeah. that, were, that really stuck out. The, the Kinks were there. You the two were the pretenders, yeah. um, Blondie, English Beat, English Beat, yeah, <laughs> Oingo Boingo. Mm -hmm. Oh, Oingo Boingo, yeah. that was a great show. I mean, it really so, was. I mean, you had like David Bowie, missing Grateful person, Dead. Grateful Dead, and then. And, Really, the US Festival was like the Woodstock of the 80s. It really was. Yeah, it was, the, it, it was, I mean, I don't think people even realized there was like way over 100,000 people each day, you know? Yeah. I mean, like when you looked at it, like I've seen aerial views of it since, and that you just can't believe the amount of people that were there. I mean, oh. And, and it was an adventure too, because it was out in the middle of this yeah. big field, yeah. and it was hot and muddy, and mm -hmm. I mean, you really had to be pretty committed. It was enduring. <laughs> it was enduring. I mean, you had to literally park like miles away. I remember uh -huh. and like walk like. We must have walked for two miles yeah. to even get to where it was at. Like, where are we going? You know? <laughs> I but I, I think by the time it was over here, I was ten years old. I'm pretty sure I threw up, and my brother had to carry me to the like to the shuttle we got to. Drip from the heat and the, the heat, heat and just being tired and just I mean it was a long day. Yeah. I mean, you know like well it was know. three days. I know. And so did you guys camp or were you going back and forth? Or I, don't, I don't think people went back and forth. Did no, they? It, it was it was. I don't remember that as far as that goes. I mean, but it was. You it was, must have stayed there because it was it, enduring. Yeah, the, the shows went so late and they started right up again in the morning. It, but I love camping at shows. But like even for Coachella, like what we do there is we stay in a condo. I mean, I'm uh -huh. a little bit. I had, <laughs> well, you're a little older. Yeah, a little too. older now for sure. But <laughs> not much. Yeah. I think that's so cool. You were at the like, Why well, don't know if we ever talk about that? I anymore. know. Yeah. Strong.